black supremacy i wanted to make this video because i just i know it's a whole month later and whatnot but i had just watched this video and i'm probably going to show it to you after this about the teacher who called the black student dumb and that she's not going to be worth anything more than someone who just has babies and uh, has sex um initially i thought you know what he said might have been kind of harsh and uncalled for um just out of the blue but of course nothing is just out of the blue and so I, I just happened to come across this video because I'm just sitting here and I'm thinking, I'm like, what's so wrong with having sex and having making babies? That's what you're supposed to do. That's what that is, in in a, in a sense, what we are here for, right? Uh, black women talk all about the yoni and all about the divine womb and the, the the black woman is a god and the divine feminist. But you say something about the actual purpose of her anatomy. And all of a sudden it becomes worldwide national debate and, and it's, it's a derogatory statement and it's, it's something to be frowned upon. And also, you know, I, I, I did hear some other people's views and opinions on the whole situation. Kind of confusing because it's like, if you were to homeschool your child, what would you be, would you not be teaching your child about? the purpose of, of her body and if you are more of an inclined and spiritual being you're not going to see anything wrong with what that purpose is and in fact you're going to honor and revere that purpose and and build that up but you have these children that you're sending to white supremacy institutions and of course something i see why saying something like that is so wrong in a, a corporate white supremacy, uh, post-slavery, um, mind brainwashing, uh, factory, which is what that is, right? So you have someone who, who is in this institution, not to, not to make babies. They're not, we're not, they don't, we're not sent to school to repopulate ourselves. We're not sent to these institutions to carry on our genes and to further us ourselves as human as human race a uh, human race um and um to uplift other people we are sent there to become agents for the corporation and to become obedient slaves right if anything right is one of it's one or the other you become either an obedient slave or an agent to make more slaves for the corporation there's no if, ands, or buts. So where, where she does, where she would have babies, had she been quote unquote smart or, or meeting up to, uh, I guess his standards or whatnot, or, or you know, she would be just an agent. However, the part that kind of <laughs> puts her back into the slave category, it just it just so happens to be that he was talking about what appeared to me to be a black history uh course and he was given out the assignment and he had told her told the class to do something um to take some notes or to to do whatever homework whatever assignment or lesson they had given and she had just kept asking repeating asking him to repeat what he said what who who what and um he had already warned you know, don't do like so-and-so did because, you know, it's going to get annoying or whatnot. The class laughed or whatnot, whatever. And she, con she continued. And to me, it didn't even seem like he was writing anything on the board. So this whole idea of, oh, she has glasses and she can't see, she seemed a little slow to me, right? So she kept saying, what, what, who, who, what, what, who, who, until the point where he just said, you know what? And uh, it, it even, she, when she said who, he was talking about Sir J Sojourner Truth. He had mentioned for her to do something in regards to Sojourner Truth. And she was like, who? So you could just, it's like, you all are, as black people, we you, in the Pan-African movement, black supremacy, and um, black conscious community, we talk a lot about, you know, if you're going to homeschool your children, how you should be teaching them black history and about um, black revolutionaries and elders and all that stuff. But... If you, if you actually have a school or a teacher that actually is doing this stuff and obviously to some point was 
right? Where to the point where he can give an assignment and you're somebody still in the class talking about who, 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 uh, it's kind of like, that, that is kind of what we call each other. If, if we don't know our history, we call each other dumb or we call each other stupid. Whether, whether we do it openly or not, you kind of, it, it's just that, that part that, that that's what makes you unconscious. Maybe he should have used the word that you are the most unconscious woman I've ever known or the most unconscious woman. But that's how a lot of um, people in the conscious community view each other, right? I don't, I don't know if anybody can debate that. So she didn't know her history. He called her out on it, right? But people want to obviously come at him because she, her parents didn't teach her any better, right? Because they sent her to this institution and he's probably doing his best as a black man in a school to teach black history right something that is is um certain schools teachers are getting fired for doing that in black colleges and black universities and he obviously was was doing it to the best of his capacity but you still have uh students and, and their parents who obviously don't teach them any type of history whatsoever don't teach them any type of self-love whatsoever or just how to be resilient or how to um how to just not take everything so personal. So all of a sudden what he said becomes the most detrimental thing in her life that's gonna cause her to be a failure, i.e. someone who just has sex and makes babies. So it's like a self-fulfilling prophecy that you, we can put each other in if we don't see what the real problem is. Cause the real problem is, is that there's this white supremacy that exists, that we even have to talk about slavery and that when we do talk about it, People don't know diddly squat about who's who and what's what. And it can get frustrating, right? Then, then you have to ask the question, okay, what if he didn't say she's going to be the, the most dumbest girl or she's not the most dumbest girl he's ever met in 37 years? What if he didn't say that her whole only purpose was to have sex and to make babies? What 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 is her purpose, really? Because it's not like these unity schools are out here for us to become enlightened individuals. All you people mad at him, she's not going to school to become an enlightened individual to uplift humanity and to rid the world of its problems and its troubles and to bring peace and bliss and harmony to creation and to, to manifest divinity on this earth. No, she's here to become an agent and to become a slave. And apparently she was too dumb to become either R and she just at this point might fall into either R. It's like, it's, it's still a conundrum right there, right? Where her, what, what probably the best situation to come out of this is that possibly he, he could, cause he, he eventually resigned himself is the information that I'm getting. And so possibly the best thing that can come out of this is that she can go on and to study and to learn more about herself and her and history and to develop herself because I'm telling you, she did see uh, Georgia people, y'all got some catching up to do. I can't lie, right? She did seem kind of slow. And so the best that can come out of it is that they can, they can expand their consciousness, black supremacy.